No sex before marriage. How should you date and how should you behave? It is a bit of a tricky situation when majority of women are giving away the cookie nearly on a plate while you are trying to hold on to it. Hello, my name is Greta Berishira. I'm dating and relationship coach for women. For the awesome high value woman secrets, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I upload a new video every Wednesday and Sunday. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to behave if your goal is to have sex only after marriage. What I will do in this video, I will share one of my incredible followers a story and a question and then I will answer it by breaking it down in detail. I hope you'll enjoy it. So let's start. Hi Greta, um, so my name is Diamanta and this is my question. Uh, I've been talking to someone since the month of uh, July last year. Uh, in December, we, for some reason, like there was a lot going on in his life, so we ended up stop not talking anymore. Uh, it's been now the past for the past three months. Um, I was my feelings were a bit hurt because of how things um, transpired. So I, I I was a bit child not childish, but I was I was hurt. My feelings were hurt, and I um, I let it. Um, take over me and obviously I chose to block him because I didn't want to really see him or I didn't want to see that maybe he moved on with someone else so I chose to just um, call on contact but obviously um, which is what's bound to happen I've um, decided to unblock him mainly because I know his sister and his sisters told me that he's messaged me uh, while I, he was blocked so after three months I decided to unblock him um i know his sister and it seems like we're so connected somehow we met online but then we're so connected because he knows my brother i know his cousin and i know his sister that we go to church together so my question is um he's got one daughter and uh, he's coming up of a long term relationship he's now been nearly two years um back on the market and dating um and he was nine years with the you know previous um relationship so uh, my question is now uh, that you know I, I kind of knew like you know it's it's made clear that he hasn't committed to me. Uh, I've unblocked him and I started talking to him since the beginning of quarantine. Uh, I think the mid March, I think. And uh, talk, now we're talking. And my question is: uh, Yesterday we had a long conversation, and it just came about that he's mentioned again um he basically mentioned that uh there was something that he said and i guess i misunderstood him but then he corrected me and he confirmed that you know i'm i'm a virgin and i want to wait until marriage and so basically we were having that conversation and he's confirmed that you know he's not yet ready to wait until marriage for someone like he's not He's not made that commitment yet and he just needed apparently the time to decide you know if it's really what he wants to do um and also he does show that he cares uh in terms of the fact that he calls me regularly and he does wants he does seems to um make statements like you know saying that he does see a future with me and he knows that you know other than that he won't be able to get into my pants and he does respect that um, he does talk about a future, however, right now it's difficult for him to commit because of what it means to commit with me. It means that he will have to hold off on sex for months until you know he chooses to take it all the way to marriage, and uh, he knows that part. And um, so, yesterday when we had a conversation, he um, confirmed that he was still seeing other people, and I just got a little bit. Um, cold like I, not cold but I was a bit like Ugh. and I wasn't even trying to um react to it but he it's like he could, we were talking and he could hear it on in my voice I was ask, asking a couple of questions and I was asking like do you see yourself ever waiting you know do you see yourself uh, you know committing to celibacy for a few months until you know you really um, take things to marriage with someone? Do you, you know, is it something that you can see yourself doing? And I did ask those questions yesterday. 
and then we just we basically had the conversation my question is how should i react from now on um you know how should i react from now on okay so no sex before marriage how should you behave i know it's tricky ladies but i really admire the no sex before marriage thing i act i i really support that to be honest um so anyway so i'm gonna share a couple options so the first option is just be friends with him okay just be friends with him and be friends with him for just be friends okay however when you are being friends with him do be high value so let him ask you out let him chase you all of that so even when you're being friends with him do the things correctly but don't give him the benefits of the wife stuff you know like if no sex before marriage just don't give him any benefits of the wife stuff but do be friends with him and if he's dating other girls and so on it does not matter just stay friends with him because men fall in love through connection anyway we fall in love with your presence with having fun together so even if he's dating the other girls it does not really matter but as long as you're staying cool you're stay and you're staying high value and you're not feeling like he's taking advantage of you like if you're if you're dating him and you know he's dating others it could be a bit too hard for you especially if you're you know nice and innocent and genuine and so on so it could be a bit too hard for you but what i would say just be friends with him act as a friend again men fall in love with your presence and through having fun together so if he really likes you as a person and he's attracted to you he will slowly start to fall for you and i had it myself many times where i was friends with a guy and like a year two years later we pour their heart out we say like oh i love you you know and i'm like but we haven't even like kissed or anything you know so it's like being friends is really really good tip and it's so nice it's so nice i think it's like the best relationships are made if you can be friends so he actually gets to know you as a person and he's attracted to you he knows your personality he knows what you're about and then he wants you to be a his girlfriend i think that is so beautiful or a wife that's so beautiful the, the, the key is a lot of girls we change when we friends we act one way and when we are girlfriends we act another way so make sure to keep the, the same behavior when you're married or when you're in a relationship the same behavior as you were behaving with him as you were friends more or less the same i mean like emotional control and not going crazy and giving him space and so on right because this is what he fell for in the first place and the second one is it has actually happened to my client she's been coached in my vip one from day one so when she came to vip one she was actually a single girl who could not get a guy to date her at all and so yeah she was muslim she was a virgin and what we did we started telling her how to date guys so we keep being interested in her and she started dating a guy and he's very cool really really high value guy like a very very cool guy and she was doing everything right so he was taking her on dates you know sweeping her off her feet a lot and uh, the guy was really experienced and you know but she was in the good hands right and she kept dating and dating him and she was just like i like to take things slow i like to take things slow she was not pushing for anything no pressure for relationship no pressure for marriage he did not even know that she's a virgin she was just doing things correctly like keeping her emotional control and he was just sweeping her off her feet all the time and the guy was really experienced really cool and um and after about four months of dating um he actually told her that he loves her and you know he was like will you be my girlfriend and so on and she said to him you know i'm I'm a virgin basically i believe and you know I'm, I'm practicing muslim and he really respected that and um six months later he introduced her to family and so on now we are getting married basically a year later we're getting married and the guy actually has never introduced a girl to his family before and again he was like really charming really experienced like a really awesome guy 
and it's just because she was doing things correctly she was being high value and he saw her value in those months and he was like this girl is worth waiting for you know this girl is like incredible so this is how it happened ladies however keep it in mind that the guy that I'm telling you about that she was dating, he was high value. He knew when a woman has a value, a woman who has self-respect, a woman who is not desperate to get married. If the guy that you are dating, if he's a playboy type, if he just wants easy kind of an easy cookie if he just wants easy stuff he's he doesn't look for a girl who has value self-respect who has goals and dreams he's looking for easy he, he's looking for something that he can take use have fun with and drop you know drop it like it's hot so this guy is obviously not for you you know, so yeah, like what you could be, uh, what you could do in your case, if you're really into him and you feel like you're dating him, but he's keeping his options open, just say that you want to be friends. Um, and, you know, he can get to know you as friends and see how things go take off there. As I said, there has been a lot of guys who were like pouring their heart out to me after a year or two years of friendship and nothing has ever happened, you know, so it definitely is possible if you're being high value okay so thank you i hope uh, you enjoyed this video and if you have more questions for me ladies send your video with a question to my whatsapp and i'll see what i can do <clears throat> maybe i'll put it um on youtube or my social media so the other the other ladies can get their answers too so ladies, now that you know the answer to the question, don't forget to take my free test. Are you a woman of high value or low value, which you will find down in the video description box below. If you like this video, please press like and let me know in the comments below what do you think. If you have a video question that you don't mind me answering on my YouTube channel or other social media, feel free to WhatsApp it to me. And if I'll see it fit, I will answer it on my YouTube channel. Join Greta's High Value Women School where we are all in the same boat learning how to be women of high value and bring out the best in our men. Follow me on my Instagram. My Instagram is private. It's called Ladies Relationship Coach. And for VIP group coaching or one-on-one -on -one coaching, please check out my prices and packages on my website and then get in touch with me over WhatsApp as that is where I coach. Thank you for watching Queen's Kisses from London.